Hello, thank you for joining me. Today we're going to go and um, visit a site we've already been to. I made a video a couple of years ago. I've just got to go up through the woods on the other side of the river and uh, let's go and explore the site. I made a video called The Lights Are On and No One's Home. Have a look at the link on screen now and um, you'll be able to see that video. So what we're doing, we're going back to that site because things have changed a bit since I was last there. So um, I thought we were just going to have a little look round see what there is to see there so come out the woods across the road here and we've got this footpath just here and um, up here there's a little hole in the fence which is going to take us onto the site um, it's a bit like an old ranch we're going to go and have a look at well of course we're in England not America but it looks like an English version of an old ranch so we can continue up the footpath and let's go and explore this site So we're just coming up the footpath now. The site we're going to is in there. Um, I came up here the other day and I saw some um, youngest people and um, I just said to them, what, what's it like? And they said, yeah, well, you know, it's an abandoned house. Um, we just go in there and hang out really. So I said, okay, cool. So as I said before, we have been in the house. Um, we access it through this little hole in the fence. Um, I've been in here before, as I mentioned by the video. We went in the main house um, in this video. Um, I've been told you can now access the other house, so my plan is to take you down and have a look there. So we get to here, old summer house here, I think that's a plant room, because there's a swimming pool, a very, very dirty swimming pool, as we'll find out. So this is the summer house, just imagine someone would have sat there and looked out across their really nice garden, which is now really overgrown. Um, so the main big house is just up there, so that's the one we went in. That's where the lights were rather spookily on, but there was no one home. Um, I think it's all been sealed. Well, as I said, there's a window open. I don't think, um, I probably could climb in, but because I've already been inside, um, I'm not too worried about going inside again. So uh, what I thought we'd do is we'll go and have a look at the other house. So let's just go up here first. Um, so we go up there here and um, find there's an open window. It's going to be pitch black inside. Didn't bring a torch, so I'm not going to go in there today. But as I said, do watch my um, the lights are on, but no one's home video. We're going to go down there to that house because um, I want to have a look around that house now. It's a bit of an interesting one. I think that it all seems to be one site. So whether, and they both became abandoned at around the same time. So whether someone lived here and they had the other house built in their garden, I'm not too sure. So this is um, yeah, it's a really nice, um, nice house, huge garden, um, and swimming pool. I'll show it to you in a second. Just get through here. Um, has a, just a really nice house with a swimming pool. Strangely, there seems to be some bunk beds. Unless, whether someone bought them out of the house and put them there for a bit of a laugh, I don't know. Uh, swimming pool. It's hard to show you because it's really overgrown. Um, but the swimming pool is just behind these bushes here. Um, you can probably just about see that and of course there's the house so the house we're going to look at in this video is down here now it looks as though i'm wondering if um you know if it was part of the same family an extended family and they lived in two houses i'm not entirely sure but this one um uh, it's like uh, someone said it looked like an american ranch um when i showed someone the last video because in the last video i came in the drive of this one from the housing estate down there, came in a drive and I walked up through here. But this house was com all, all the doors were locked, um, it's in a much worse estate now. See, I don't condone breaking windows and the vandalism. If I come somewhere like this, I, I just come to have a look around because I'm curious. So let's go inside. Oh, interesting, there's no, um, no upstairs in this part, so it's a full height ceiling. There's a downstairs bathroom. Um, there's a room there, someone's, it's like someone's nicked the carpet, they've cut around these and taken the carpet. That's got a Velux window. Someone's hungry for apples. See, I don't condone that kind of graffiti and stuff. Now, get to this room, look at this, this. The one's been really nice. It's a kitchen. And again, there's a double height. Um, so that upstairs window there is actually just looks, brings light into here. So this would have been a really nice, big, grand kitchen. And, and then when you get to the bottom, obviously there's a 
prop it up upstairs. There's uh, rubbish all over the floor. It's a bit, it seems to be, you know, this is a bit sad. There's, um, I don't want to look at them too close. It's so like someone left their family photo in here and all the photos are just strewn across the floor. I almost feel like getting down, getting every picture and trying to get them back to the family. Um, I think that is a real shame. So there's another room, it's quite dark in there. Another room in there. That's just like a little cupboard. Um, so let's have a look. Someone's uh, pulled a radiator off the wall. Um, these, these photos are everywhere. I can't believe that. Look, all there. They're all in this room. See, yeah, to me, that is a real shame that that is you know, someone's life memories just strewn out across the floor. Um, yeah, I, I don't sort of agree with doing that, but um, it's even, even more in here. Not just photos, but their books and everything. It seems a shame. Um, but, well, I'm not going to. Another thing, if I ever come to these places, as I say, I only ever take pictures, or videos for that matter, and I leave any footprints, so I'm not going to touch any of it or take any of it with me, but I do feel like just picking it all up and trying to get back to people. In this room here, so there's another room, um, little room, and then there's a, another downstairs bathroom. Can't see much, it's dark. Let's go upstairs and see what there is to see upstairs. Uh, so here we are. That's the front door. Here's the stairs. Even the balustrades have partly gone. I'm sure it's a really nice house one, so it is a shame to see it. But there's no doubt this house would be knocked down, and so would a neighbour's house, possibly even some of the others, and uh, they'll build a load of flats or other houses. So come into this rather large room here, and the chimney breast going up up through the middle of the room. I will just show you what's going on around here. And look out there. Those modern buildings you can see, or maybe can't see, um, because of the, there we are. Sorry, the light's being a bit funny. They're modern flats, so they demolished um, some of the other 1960s houses. See that, those ones across the road there. Sorry about the camera doing that. But anyway, those 1960s houses, a lot of them in that road have been demolished and replaced with flats. So I think looking at the size of this side, there's the other house up there. This one will be next. So if you have a look out there, um, see the windows, the one on the end, that one is the double height kitchen room. So we're gonna now go around to there and uh, see what we can see. Um, what else have we got? So we've got another, another master bedroom. Well, not master bedroom, that was obviously master bedroom, another bedroom. A bathroom. You see, it's obviously been built on oh, no, a one more bedroom. It's built in the era before all the houses had, you know, an ensuite for every bedroom. So, um, you know, it's kind of it's it's quite a big house, but it's just sort of outdated, really. It's a shame. Um, I bet now, if it was to be a house again, you could put another ensuite there, have the trailer for the small room, but have an ensuite. I don't think that will happen there. I think it will be demolished. Um, there we are. So we're going to stand there and go. You can just see that. Uh, so what I'm going to do really now is um, get out. <laughs> That's probably the sensible thing, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Perhaps once the pandemic's over, the builders will move in and these two houses won't be here anymore. So that was my point of coming here today. I just wanted to show, you know, what happens after a house before it gets, um, once, once the residents have moved out, what happens to these places? It's rather sad, but... There we go. So, I um, hope you enjoyed this explore. Something a bit different today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Um, from the abandoned house, somewhere in the home counties. Goodbye.